laughable that it's only white people equating slavery to owning an abortion. Not once have I heard one black or woman of color. Faith, do you want to come up here? Because apparently color you, matters. I, I, would, I would like to hear from a person, a woman of color, why sure, that Faith, isn't racist. come on up here. I would because rather hear it. that. Go ahead, Faith. What's so funny? Why are you pro-life, Faith? Yes, thank you. I am pro-life because life begins in the womb at conception. And I think that our personhood, our rights, should not be based on having to be human plus something else. That's exactly what happened with slavery, where we were told that you have to be human plus not black. And now we're saying that you have to be human plus a certain age, or human and in a different location. And so really what abortion is is age-based discrimination. Black people weren't seen as humans. They weren't seen as human beings. Black people were not seen as humans. They were like the Supreme Court actually said that they were three fifths of a human person. Just like how you all have denied that a child in the womb is a human person. No, it's not. It's not a human. That's fundamentally incorrect. It's not what is it? What is a child in the womb? Is it a koala bear? When I get pregnant, am I pregnant with a koala bear? I'm, a, I'm pregnant with a member of our species. A fetus of a dolphin looks the same as a fetus as a human. You literally can't tell them apart because it's not human yet. It's not human. Does somebody else have a question? I just want to note that as a black woman and as a person who got my degree in biology, life does begin at conception. <laughs> Well, she asked for a female of color and she got the answer she didn't want. And it seems to me this is a little bit racist to treat her like that. You ask for a point of view from an African-American female, she gives it to you instead of, you know, internalizing it like we've been told to. You reject it outright because it doesn't fit your narrative. This is actually also slightly offensive because no one and everyone can talk on any issue they want to. You don't have to be qualified for this, that, and the other. However, if if logically this woman and this girl who is being extremely rude to the speaker, if she wants to hear a point of view from a woman of color and then appeal to that authority, by logic and by reason, when she drops the mic on the biology, you know, degree and what she got as a, you know, qualified biologist, she has to respect that too, because if we're going to keep appealing to authorities, and you're going to use that fallacy to keep appealing to whether it be based on race, sex, age, whatever, then you have to accept when someone says, well, I have a biology degree and you don't, logically you have to accept that too. I mean, both Kristen and this girl dropped the mic on these protesters who are extremely and extraordinarily rude. I mean, we can debate back and forth, but you have to have a civil debate to get ideas out there. But again, you asked for that narrative. You were the one, feet girl, who asked for that person of color to come up here and give their opinion on what is life and what it means for conception and things like that. And in fact, you appealed to that authority. And once again, when she's like, well, that's great, but I also have a biology degree. And I've always been taught that life begins at conception. And the biologists, if they weren't so woke and were afraid of you students reacting, would agree with that. It's really, really funny to me that every time we're told we need to have this person's perspective, but the minute, the minute that person disagrees based on their skin color, their ideology, who they are, their personality, their sexuality, whatever it be, all of a sudden it's automatically it out of hand as tokenism, but don't don't appeal to a higher authority and use that logical fallacy and then get mad when you get rocked because the girl who you asked to appeal to appeals to even better authority, her degree and her years of experience and years of education. I mean, leftists do this all the time. Well, this professor said, and you don't have a degree in this, so you can't talk about it. Well, she does have a degree in this, and you don't. Maybe you shouldn't talk about it. Hey, just playing by your rules on this one.